this is the first game probably all season where I'm like, oh, okay, so the Bucks, maybe their offense isn't quite like they used to be, but they're still, it looks like they're kind of turning the page a little bit. That's what I see here. They finally got the run game going. Brady was pretty good overall. I mean, 22 of 29, 258, two touchdowns a pick. Um, and overall, I mean, their run game, 60 yards, nothing crazy. But overall, I like the way their ball, the way they moved. They had more first downs than the Seahawks, contained the Seahawks overall, contained the run game, Kenneth Walker. That's not an easy task. So this is the first game in a long time where I'm like, okay, I think the Bucks are starting to piece things together. Yeah, and I think we have like underestimated the severity of their injuries because they had three starters go down their offensive line. Um, all their receivers have been in and out of the lineup. Um, they have a very inconsistent tight end position, which is very important to a run game and Tom Brady. You really have to have that solid tight end there to block and pick it up on big third downs. And then Leonard Fournette is a guy... I'm not really going to rely on him to do anything until week 12. And I think he's just kind of that player where he'll like ramp it up when it matters. But like early in the season, it's like a struggle for him to care. For Tom Brady, he's 45. You know how many seasons he's played? It's like he's gone through, oh my God, is it time for Brady to retire? Does he suck? I don't know, since he was 37. Eight years now of, is Brady too old? Like, eight years of that, and I think he knows how bad his division is. He's self-aware probably to a fault where he knows my division's so bad, I can kind of take the first half of the second of the season off and then turn it up after week around week 10, which is when you need to start putting it together. So I think Brady's like, oh, my God, the first half of the season again? It's like, I just want to get to the playoffs, man. And I think that's something that was bothering him. And the guy was going through a divorce. I'm like, you can't just throw that away. Like, well, it shouldn't affect his football. I was like, no, that's going to affect it your not? football. How does it not? She cheated with his jujitsu trainer. What? Yes. I didn't hear about this. No. So it's official. Like, Giselle just went on a vacation. And she took her jujitsu trainer with her. So it's like, apparently it was like way too fast and Brady was like, hold up, were you doing what I think you were doing? So it's like, no need to speculate, but it definitely looks weird. I didn't know about this. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Brady had to go through losing Gronk because he retired officially. Yeah. His first wife. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And then he lost Mike Evans initially. Well, not no Chris Godwin initially. All of the receivers were hurt for the most part. Their offensive line literally eroded. Yeah. So before the year. Yeah, exactly. So the Bucks. this is a team that if they can slowly start to piece things together, they got seven games left. They have a bye next week. They can slow if they can slowly start to piece things together, rattle off a few wins, maybe win five of the last seven. I think they'll be in a good position. Plus, they're going to probably face the Giants or one of those, you know, playoff teams, but maybe not like super serious playoff teams, like first-round exit teams, I think they'll be fine. Yeah, um, yeah, because they're going to be the lowest divisional winner for sure. Um, so I think they're going to be facing probably the Cowboys or the Giants, one of those two. And I think Brady's very good against the Cowboys. Mike McCarthy's awful in playoff situations. And then Daniel Jones in the playoffs versus Levante David. Yeah. Kevin White. Um, no, that's just not going to happen. So I do think they're in a good spot right now. And then you get to play an inexperienced Eagles team or Vikings team in the sec in the second round. You don't know either of those teams could be the one seed. So it's like, I see a path. I see yeah. some momentum that could get going. It's like, don't count them out. Their defense is good enough to win a Super Bowl alone. 